In 1990, Mazda started a Roadster revival with the introduction of the MX-5 Miata, a compact and very affordable drop top that became one of the most popular sports cars ever built. But even the best design shows its age eventually, and Mazda has now introduced an all-new MX-5 for 2006. So let's see if it has what it takes to fire us up all over again. Before we start, let's talk about the name of this tidy rear-drive roaster, the 2006 Mazda MX-5. Miata has been officially dropped. You won't find it anywhere on the car. But because it is so well known, it will still be used in advertising and promotion. Go figure. Ordinarily, this third generation and only second total redesign, MX-5, might deserve a name change since every part is new. Yet they combine into the same minimalist sports car theme that we all fell in love with 16 years ago. The MX-5 did grow a bit, but just a bit. It's two inches longer, 1.6 inches wider, with two and a half inches more wheelbase. This allowed designers to pin a much more muscular stance with only a small weight gain. That huskier look comes from prominent fenders, which house 16 or 17 inch alloy wheels. The nose wears a rounded grille that recalls the original 1990 Miata. But now HID headlights are an option, and there is a new subtle power bulge in the aluminum hood. A revised double wishbone front and new multi-link rear suspension provides the support. The MX-5 has never been known as a powerhouse, but the 2006 edition gets a 28 horsepower boost. The two liter dual overhead cam four cylinder makes 170 horsepower and 140 pound feet of torque up 15. Both five and six speed manual transmissions remain from 05, but new for 06 is a six speed automatic with steering wheel paddle shifters. With its revised internals, the six speed manual on our car required a firm hand, but rewards it with positive engagement as it snicks into every gear. And it allows every bit of power to reach the rear wheels, resulting in a zero to 60 time of 7.3 seconds. The quarter mile takes 15.6 seconds at 89 miles per hour. But handling has always been the MX-5's true forte, and that has certainly not changed. Turn-in is motorcycle quick, with the rack and pinion steering requiring minimal input and allowing easy mid-corner corrections. With or without our Grand Touring model stiffer sport suspension, the chassis is tight and lively, with tons of feel, plenty of grip, and just a touch of mid-corner understeer. Turn off the optional stability control and enjoy smooth tail end slides. It's only when the front suspension unloads over big mid corner bumps that it loses some composure. Otherwise, it's every bit the smart handling roller skate as its predecessor. Braking is also upgraded with bigger ABS equipped discs all around. They stop the MX-5 from 60 and only 116 feet with a pedal that's a little soft but offers great feedback. You could never call the MX-5 plush, but the new car soaks up bigger bumps and sends less tire and suspension noise to the cabin, which opens up to the sun by way of an improved manual soft top with a single point latch. And once you flip it down, it locks into place without a bothersome boot. Most of the MX-5's growth went into the cockpit area where it's noticeably wider with three and a half inches more shoulder room. Minimal increases in head and leg room, however, mean that it's still tight for those over six foot. Side impact airbags are a welcome standard. Now we don't much care for the wide glossy trim strip on the instrument panel, but are quite pleased with the otherwise clean, efficient control layout. The new seats are also wider with better support in both back and bottom cushions. Trunk space has grown slightly to a usable 5.3 cubic feet. There's still little room for a spare tire, so you get a bottle of repair foam and an air compressor. Run flat tires are an option worth thinking about. The trunk may be larger, but prices are more flexible. The line now runs from the stripped down $20,995 club spec model to the limited model for $27,260. So there's an MX-5 for almost every budget. It's been 16 years since the Mazda Miata, sorry, MX-5, started a Roadster revival. 
And with the 2006 Mazda MX-5, it becomes a sports car movement that will continue to thrive as long as there are any real auto enthusiasts left. Well, I hope you'll join us next week for more Motor Week, when we'll test Toyota's all-new RAV4 and Porsche's exhilarating Cayman S Coupe. Plus, we'll have another long-term road test update and a look at some of the latest trends on gear. I'm John Davis. We'll see you then. To learn more about Motor Week, television's original automotive magazine, visit pbs.org. To order a DVD or VHS copy of this program, call 1-800-873-6154. Motor Week has been brought to you by the Stanley Works, makers of MaxLife 369 tripod illumination tools. Stanley is proud to support public television. Stanley, make something great. Information available at www.stanleyworks.com. And by Dunlop Tires, presenter of the Dunlop Drivers' Cup, an international competition racing to America, testing the skills of non-professional enthusiasts, off-road and on the track. Information at DunlopTires.com. And by Cars.com. Let's say you're looking for a car. Cars.com can help. Research, locate, even contact the dealer. Cars.com. Find the right car for you. And by Radio Shack, where the excitement is building with VEX Robotics. VEX lets you create and design a working robot, limited only by your own imagination. More information about VEX Robotics is at Radio Shack or RadioShack.com. This program was produced by Maryland Public Television, which is solely responsible for its content.